private sector has got a huge role to play in mobilizing resources for skills development in Uganda. Uh, because without skilled manpower, our companies are doomed. Many of vocational colleges and others are actually private. So we do have private sector investing in education. We are not waiting for the government to train our people. We are training our people. But we would like to work in close collaboration with the government. We have interns that we take in. Uh, from the various institutions, uh, depending on which sector. Some of the companies do take on students, but they don't expose them to, to real work experiences. There are a number of people that still believe that skills development is meant for students who fail in the general education, which is not. We are very ready. Uh, that is if interns are also supported by their academic uh, home. We've got to work together. Both the institutions that are training people must work with the private sector hand in hand to move the bar up. We can seriously have an impact on the skill set in the country. We have a group of 20 drivers that are now that became like the trainers and then these drivers are training other drivers. So if employers train their own employees they don't just look at the training authority to actually take care of skills development needs. One of the key incentives, especially for the private sector, that we need to look at is the kind of, let me say the youth, we are taking on. The issue of integrity has to come in. We are ready to give them workplace experience which they need when they apply for jobs in companies. So we will benefit, we as companies of course, will benefit immensely. It comes straight to our bottom line when you have a better skill set. You have Ugandans that are trained. The cost is lower. Without skilled employees, we are not going to allow anybody to come to our offices. Industry complains about the quality of the graduates that we churn out and that we send into industry. So we make sure now that they are, they are involved in the development of standards and qualifications through technical working groups and the industry skills committees in fact approve those unit standards and qualifications for their respective sectors. There should be some certification process. Now that is seriously lacking across the board. So much that even people come out with a degree and the degree is just a piece of paper. There are a number of Ugandans out there, they have some skills, but they don't have certificates. So no one has really recognized the kind of skills these people have. And yet they are doing, they are already performing in different ways. The government policy should be out there to tell Ugandans that the, the jobs that we have cut out to be done are too big and that people should be ready to take them on. I'll give you an example. We are going to build a pipeline from uh, the western part of Uganda to Tanga on the Indian Ocean. And the oil and gas companies, although they are going to spend a lot of money, they are not going to allow anybody who is not certified to touch anything of theirs. So we would like to be involved in uh, producing the curricula because we know what we need. We know the kind of uh, graduate of the VTIs that we need. That's why it is important as we plan, as we produce the graduate, to make sure that at any given level, the private sector is also seen as a key stakeholder. Other governments which are a bit advanced or more advanced than ourselves have a fund which they contribute to to skill their people. Such a fund should be managed by administrators that are chosen from both like the private and public sector. We can hire professional people who know what they are doing, they are guided, they may make a few mistakes along the way, teething problems, but we can get there and have a fund that will develop our human resource capacity. We believe that the game changer for this plan is the inclusion of the private sector in the coordination, management and potentially even the financing of skills development in Uganda. We have to complete our training cycle because we train the head, the heart, but we, we didn't include the hand. And that is the basis 
over a lot of unemployment.